over there at Chupacaro. What's going on? Is this guy sleeping in there? Wake up! Who brought his toy over? Oh, dude, this fool went ham. Look at it. Doubled up on the freaking size of his booth. Sheesh. He brought the trailer and the sleeping quarters. Freaking sick. So this Pro R sick, but I came to the booth not only to say hi to Nick, but this is the new CF Moto. What is that? Such a wild, different machine from their previous, you know, machines. This thing is sick. Where do you guys want to know? I want to know everything about this car, but I don't got that kind of time right now. <laughs> It's pretty sick though. What do you think? Just give me a real quick your thoughts on this new uh, CF Moto. Well, I haven't got to drive it, so there's no real driving thoughts, but um, for 20K... The, I thought you brought it here. I did bring it here. And they wanted and, to drive uh, it? They're not legally letting me drive it. Uh, like, God damn it! There's only two of them here. But anyway, um, fit and finish, looking, sitting in it. You should sit in it at least. You got time to do that, right? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Here. Phone, phone, can, can I film? Yeah, yeah, let me get this on film. Right Chupacabra G-Live Takeover Vlog. That's right. World exclusive G Life Ready? sits in a CF Mortal for the first time. Hey, Look at that smile. It's Birch! Ah! You're gonna want one. I was gonna say your speed, but it's a little late. Was able to make it here. Birch! But I'm bumps. Yeah, it's not here. Alright, no enough jokes, alright. <laughs> Nick, so what do you think about this machine? I mean the cockpit looks pretty cool. This reminds me of my Put mouth. your foot on the gas or on the brake, yeah. Oh okay. Dude, it sounds like my X3. Uh, triple cylinder. I mean, I think you know the quality of it, everything looks really nice, man. For 20, uh, I just drove it. I think if you're a new UTV driver, new UTV customer, you go into a showroom and you sit in a couple cars back to back, I think they're gonna have a lot of interest. Yeah, I think, uh, Hold. especially for the price point, yeah. huh? A lot of adjustments. Maybe we should do a more in depth video on this, but. It is. It does look impressive just off the, off the off the bat. Yeah, we got some cool paddle tires for us. Hoping we can take this thing out to the dunes here soon and romp it. it but it's exactly cool to see another you know option for a lot of customers in the market. What do you think? Hell yeah! That's competition makes uh, better products, right? How you liking that Polaris life, bro? I like it. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I could lie and say it's the best, but I just try to be honest about the car. I mean, it is really comfy. The YouTube needs more people that drive all the brands and give their honest feedback because there's not many of us, yeah. you know, I think, and it's cool to see. You know, I bought a Maverick R, obviously, because I, I don't know, I want a Maverick R. But, like, I'm not... Dude, the thing's so wide, honestly. Other trails, I just wish I wasn't driving, I was driving the Pro R. Really? In the trail, just because of the width of it? It's just like, too wide, dude. Well, the trails, like, some of the ones we go to, like, in the mountains, little hills, mm -hmm. it's just too wide. I noticed when I borrowed one, it's the only car that's ever had to go up on the wheel well of my trailer. Know, it's so even wider than the speed, so, so I never thought about like, actually trail riding though. You can live off it like if you make adjustments, you have, it's a pain in the ass for the trailer part of it, but like just using it, you don't want to have that in the back of your head like, oh man, I'm too wide here, am I going to hit that rock? That's the annoying part. But this is uh, really cool. I think this was too narrow, obviously, but I know there's a secret room that probably, you probably know of. Spilled beans, Nick, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> I don't know anything, but I think that this uh, this motor and everything was designed to work on multiple vehicles. So yeah, no, I wouldn't bet against. Yeah. Well, it's not intercooled, and I'm assuming you put an intercooler and on one it. One thing they always turn it up, you know. Is Where's that gonna like, go? They're like, look here, look at this mount. Oh look yeah, the alternator mount. thing. Yeah. Alternator thing. So what's an alternator for? Air conditioning. Oh, there you go. So, I didn't even think about that, Nick. Yeah, that's what they. You know, when I thought alternator, when I saw the video that you posted, I was like, okay, you know, kind of like can amps have issues, the stator can only output so much, everybody's running all these lights and the audio systems, okay, that's cool. But I didn't even think that maybe, you know, an AC system, but where would they put the compressor at? That's a whole nother question. TBD. Yeah. So. Um, another thing too, I mean, how's this car going to hold up being rear cooled with the windshield? Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you know, yeah. like, I think they said from here up is for your intake and your belt, and this is for your... Right? And there's not an intercooler on the car, so it's making 143 without an So that's my next question, like where is the space for an intercooler if they do come out with that? Is it going to be kind of like the Maverick R where it's stacked with another cooler? You know, so the Maverick R has the, their intercooler and the trans cooler like right behind it. Maybe they'll do something similar because there's maybe a little bit of space And you there. have a downside too where you said you've got a lot of hot air exiting right here. Yeah. So keeping your drinks cold and you can see storage like was a compromise they had to make. So that's kind yeah. of a potential downside, but I'm curious how hot the car is going to run. I'm burning this <laughs> down. 
could run in the dunes and uh yeah all the dune guys october won't... when it's 95 degrees with a windshield and the cars take all the dune guys won't care about the storage that much you know how it is in, in glamis but like true everybody else that actually needs storage maybe this is going to be a problem that's why i think this is one of the first accessories they Mid-rex, developed yeah just because like they know the storage is going to be tighter yeah it looks cool yeah cool um i'd love to drive at cf moto invite me and nick to uh, one of those uh, events where we all drive the cars and we could talk about it more then. All right, let's move on. Thank you, Nick. Yep. What do you really think about it? I'll catch you on the flippity flip. Bye.